Canada back with a full complement of seven defensive for this game this afternoon. U.S. is without Logan Brown, who left yesterday's game, but played about three and a half minutes with a lower body injury. Now walking as McCarr with the shot scoring! Taylor McCarr, power play goal, and Canada's got a one nothing lead. Canada's fifth power play goal of the tournament, Kale McCarr, the fourth overall pick by the Colorado Avalanche last June, is going to get the, the goal. Batherson does a real nice job keeping this play alive. But the U.S. has control of the puck. They don't make a play with it. Norris turns it over. As Steenbergen gets in on the forecheck and then Thomas is there to, to pick up the loose change, he finds McCarr and McCarr beats Ottinger right through the legs. Ottinger part of this team last year didn't play. Gets his first start and gets beaten by Kale McCarr. His first goal of the tournament on the heels of that two assist performance, as you mentioned, Gord, against Slovakia. The Canadian Junior A Player of the Year last year for the Brooks Bandits, a freshman this year at UMass, and the fourth overall pick of the Colorado Avalanche. So the Canadian power play is an emerging story now in this tournament. Five for nine thus far, as Middlestad has it back now. For Team USA, Middlestad scored an incredible goal to tie the game against the Slovaks. Maybe the goal of the tournament. And then a minute later, in came Samuel Buczek with an equally brilliant goal to win it for them. Brought in now by Kaylor Yamamoto. Plays it back across for Middlestad. That shot was blocked by Mete. Dajovic dipped in the middle stat. Puck goes behind the goal, centered. And the puck goes back to Ryan Lindgren, the American captain.